So let's start with um, how you eat. I like to tell my students that you are a hollow sack of mucus and poop. And that's the, re it's kind of funny, but kind of not. But the reason is, is we are hollow. From you know, mouth to anus, we're hollow. And it counts as a surface of the body. And it has some tissue, kind of like skin, that protects your outside from your inside. Because if your outside and your inside mix, that's not a good thing. And so we've got a protective layer of skin on our outside, but then on our inside, we don't, it's a little bit more complicated. Now let's start in the mouth. You um, may have heard that you should chew things you know, 20 or 30 times a bite. Most of us eat on the run. So we're eating standing up, and that's a big no-no. We eat alone, and that's a big no-no. And the reason that you may have heard that is because it means that we're not taking our time to digest. Now, naturopathic MD and functional medicine and this podcast, we concentrate a lot about the three pillars of what I have conceived of as the basic um, reasons why people have chronic disease, anything that's um, non-communicable. So not colds, not flus, not infections, even though they have a role, obviously. But all disease basically comes down to stress, inflammation, and toxicity. And we're going to relate all of those things to your digestive health today. So stress favors the sympathetic system, which is your adrenal glands and their release of adrenaline and even cortisol as well. And those are some of our big stress hormones. Both of those sh can shut down your digestive system. And so we need to have a balance between fight or flight, which is your sympathetic system, and rest and digest, which is your parasympathetic system. Um, your parasympathetic is you know, when you're resting, when you're sleeping, when you're digesting. And having a balance between those two automatic systems is one of the big, big determinants of health. If you're under stress, you can't digest well. So if you're eating on the go or you're eating fast or you're not chewing, and you're not giving yourself the time to nourish yourself, then you're shooting yourself in the foot right off because you're not caring for your body. It brings up a really interesting idea where when we're stressed and when we're you know, just acting on a survival level, we're not being aware of self-care. And most of us just give up our, um, our care of ourselves in order to take care of others or work a job and you know pay the bills or um, even some of us do it to watch TV because we just are so stressed out that we we um, check out we need to have that check out because everything else is so overstimulatory in our lives and we come from a society that has a lot of stimulation and that can be very stressful as well um, there's a research study that came out recently that said that living in the city has a lot of noise and that noise stress is impacting people's health more than we ever thought. So first, relax, look at your um, feeding yourself as a nurturing event. Think if you have children or grandchildren or little people on the face of the planet that you love or care for or want to be healthy and happy, or you even remember when you were little, what were the things that we did to show people that, you know, we love them? Feeding my kid was one of the, my favorite things because he just, it was nourishing his little body. It was helping him to grow. And so doing that self-nourishing is deeply, deeply important.